Globally, almost 300,000 new coronavirus cases were reported in the last 24 hours. That is the largest single-day increase ever. In South Africa, the virus is surging, hitting more than 500,000 cases today. Deborah Pata is in Johannesburg. These men have been told to prepare dozens of graves as the number of COVID-19 deaths rises sharply. It was hoped Africa would be spared the worst, but the virus is spreading with ruthless efficiency and over half of all cases on the continent are in South Africa. Doctors at this hospital in Johannesburg are seeing a marked increase in critically ill patients, so much so that they've had to turn this pediatric ward into a high-risk COVID unit. Field hospitals have been set up to deal with the explosion of infections since lockdown restrictions were eased. Oxygen is the new currency of this pandemic and it's in short supply. We're very concerned. This is uh, uncertain times. We're not even quite sure as to what the, 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 the numbers will look like and it will look like. And indeed, we're not sure as to, be, uh, as to how the health care system will be able to respond. In the country's poorest province of Eastern Cape, the health system is in meltdown. In this overwhelmed hospital, a security guard covers for medical staff as a patient is carried in. At Livingston Hospital in Port Elizabeth, a shortage of beds means the sick are being turned away. It's heartbreaking in the sense that you, you end up um, yourself and your team having to say no to somebody's mother, somebody's grandmother, somebody's father, somebody's uncle. Medical staff secretly took these images of overflowing medical waste and rats feeding on blood-stained floors. As more people continue to die in under-resourced hospitals, the number of ribbons tied outside this church continues to grow. Each one represents a South African life claimed by the virus for a country in crisis. That vaccine cannot come soon enough. An early lockdown in South Africa saw a delayed spread of the coronavirus, but now it's arrived in full force with experts saying it's only expected to peak in September. Deborah Pata, CBS News, Johannesburg, South Africa.